Oh boy. Phew. Mm. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody has had a great Saturday, a great weekend. I hope that things in your life are doing well. Um, today's been another one of those busy days, but it was a great day because I got a chance. My daughter came up and she went with me to help my mom out, uh, fixing some electrical issues and a problem with the bathtub and things. And my brother was there helping her put up the Christmas lights and things and realizing what family's all about. And hanging out with my daughter was wonderful. And, um, went out, got the big sub. Don't worry. We got the big sub. And I found out that I'd been pissed off primetime Phil because I said, I'm gonna make a taco sub. And he literally lost his mind. Primetime Phil literally lost his mind when he found out I was going to put taco fixings on a sub. Hey, bro. Hey, come on, man. G give a brother a break here. Give a brother a break. It's going to be good. Okay. Look, I made the pork chop sandwich that was off the chain. Let's at least see how it's going to be, okay? Let's just, just give a brother a little break. All right, so we got everything together. I got that stuff done. I got the, the meats and everything else for tomorrow. I got the chicken wings thawed out, you know. So we got the chicken wings. We got the taco sub. Uh, we'll have the glizzies, of course. And um, we'll have like a black bean chili to go with it, okay? Black, you know, a little black bean chili that'll go with the... Uh, uh, taco sub and things and hopefully everybody enjoys what we make if they don't i can't help you I, I just can't help you but i think actually we're gonna have quite a few people here tomorrow because my brother and my sister are coming over for the game and uh, i think rasheed will be here uh wes who was here last week will be here and michael who came all the way from california to be here um shout out to michael uh went over had a couple of drinks with him and um my wife and just talking and getting to know him. And he is really interesting. I, I got to find out more about these dragsters that have a 1200 horsepower engine. 12, not, I didn't say, excuse me, 12,000, 12,000 horsepower engine. That's a lot of power. I said 1200, but it's 12,000 that literally get used. And then they have to break them apart and got 58 minutes to put it back together. That's some crazy shit, but be that as it may, tomorrow, tomorrow is another one of those opportunities. One of those opportunities for the Dallas Cowboys to prove that they belong as one of those teams fighting for that Super Bowl. I've sat here, what, 13 weeks, or this will be the 13th time, and said, this game matters as much as any single other one. of them. And I guess for the Eagle fans, I should say that in the end, it doesn't matter if you win 54-19 or 17-16. Because in the record books, the Eagles and the Cowboys playing the Colts both counts as only one win. You don't get style points for how big you win a game. It just goes down as a win. And for all you needy Eagle fans, yes, congratulations. Yes, you've beat teams. You've got 11 victories. Congratulations, okay? But here's the thing that's interesting here. Here's the thing. Here's how the Dallas Cowboys keep the pressure on the Eagles. See, you're listening to Eagle fans. They're like, oh, man, you know, when we play the Giants the next time, those we'll have already clinched the playoffs. We'll already clinch the playoffs and stuff, and we can be resting our starters. Well, maybe or maybe not. Because I don't think you Eagle fans realize if the Cowboys win tomorrow against the Texans and they win against the Jaguars and then they play you at home, here's the thing. If the Cowboys win those next three games, whether or not the Eagles win theirs against the Giants and the Bears and going in there, here's the thing. If the Eagles 
If the Eagles win tomorrow, they, they win against the Bears, but they lose against the Cowboys, guess what? Here's the thing that's kind of interesting. If we win our next three games, including against the Eagles, the Eagles technically are one game ahead of us. But, but, we will actually own the tiebreaker. Because right now, we have beaten the Giants twice, we've beaten the Commanders once. We got one loss in the division. The Eagles, by losing to the Commanders, okay, our bugaboo is we lost to the Giants. Excuse me, the, the Packers. That's the game that might come back to haunt us. However, the game that's going to haunt you, Eagles, losing to the Commanders. Because if the Cowboys end up beating you, we've got a better division record. Which means then you must win those other games to keep pace in front of us or you lose the division. Think about that, Eagle fans. I don't think you guys have looked at it. I don't think that the talking heads have looked at that. If the Cowboys beat tomorrow the Texans, the Jaguars, and then the Eagles, then the Eagles ain't going to be resting nobody. You're going to have to play those other games. Yeah, it's like that. Now, that's not to say that you can't beat the Saints and then the Giants again, but here's where it's going to be interesting because... The Giants may be playing for their playoff lives. Understand? Because, see, they can lo actually, the Giants can lose tomorrow. And the game against the Commanders becomes that much more important the following week. Because, basically, that's one of them basically staking the claim for a playoff spot. But they can still catch each other, fall in, and fall out. And it may be that the Giants need that last game against the Eagles. You see what I'm saying there, Eagle fans? You may not be able to rest. You may not be able to just kick back and relax. You may actually have to play each and every one of those games. And that, my friends, is what you really want. Yeah. So here's the thing. There is no pressure for the Cowboys. There's no pressure for us. Because where it sits right now, really the only place we can go is up. We beat the Giants twice. We own the tiebreaker with them. Okay? We've already beaten the Commanders once. We own the tiebreaker with them. And Seattle is way down on the totem pole. We would have to implode not to have the fifth seed. In fact, we can basically coast, and we can be the team that says we can rest players at the end of the season here because the fifth seed is locked up. But the Eagles, you may have to still, if you cherish that, number one seed. And I'm not sure I want the number one seed because if you look at the last three years, the number one seed in the NFC has lost. Remember the Green Bay Packers last year? Boom. Boom. And we ain't exactly done well with that either. So, yeah. That's where it sits. Whew. I'm a little tired. Um, I had planned to do more downstairs getting cleaned up for tomorrow because it's the early game. But um, I did get my meat marinated for the, the these tacos, okay? Uh, yeah, I got, I got, oh man, I got the fajita flap with that oh man that that lime lime garlic um carnasada shout out to big Wizzy's seasonings marinating for the night tomorrow morning i'll get up and peel those three pounds of shrimp for the other side mm, 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 mm. and uh we'll be getting ready for game day so that's all i got for you guys for now and um I appreciate you guys. And you know <clears throat> how I always end these things at night where I tell you guys, be sure to tell the people you love that you love them because you might not get the chance again. And I love you guys. And God willing, I'll be here tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>